season finale tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chris Colfer. Thanks for coming on the show. I, I have to apologize to you. Okay, what happened? I just broke a lamp in your dressing room. You're joking. I did. I, I, was, I was saying hi to Molly, and I thought I was going back on what I thought was the chair, but it was a table with a lamp on it, with an <laughs> antique lamp on you it. You sat on the table? I, I sat on the table, and the lamp fell off. You're I watched joking. it happen. You, you saw it happen. It really yeah. happened? Yeah. Yeah. Like, ah! I promise I was not like, I was not like reenacting. Oh, oops. Oh, did I do that? Just if I did that, then okay. Stop oh. breaking stuff. Oh, gosh. Why this is why I'm never invited anywhere. <laughs> Oh, can't Dude, take me uh, anywhere. Well, uh, yeah, no problem. I will send you the bill. Okay, please do. Um, uh, how has the Glee, Glee been on tour? Yes, yes, like, we just got done with our tour. How yeah. fun is that? You it do a, a show and your show goes on tour. Yes, yes. It was, it was a little rough for me because um, the first city, um, I started sleepwalking, um, which is not a good thing to do when you're in a different city every night and there's, like, fans in the lobby. Um, of the hotel. Well, what do you mean you started sleepwalking? I, I just like one night uh, my cell phone went off and I, I kind of was startled and then I realized, oh my God, I'm, I'm sleepwalking because I was, I was having this dream that I was at dance rehearsal and literally I was in my hotel room dancing around. Like, and then my phone went off and I, I looked at the phone and I thought, oh, 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 I'm sleepwalking. And then I just got back in bed. I have the what? exact same dreams. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. yeah, I'm just dancing around good, my good hotel room. I'm not alone. Yeah. No, what do you think it's from? Like, over, like thinking like... Ambient? I mean, no. No, no. I, I, wish, I wish it was like a drug, but I, I, I heard that sometimes, like, heat can cause sleepwalking. Or heat? maybe maybe it's just because I'm crazy. Heat? I don't, I don't know. Oh. Yeah. God, it was too hot in your hotel room? Yeah, well, we were in Arizona. That's why. Oh, everything's yeah. hot in Arizona. Yes, yeah. Arizona. Right. Yeah. They actually have misters at restaurants in yes. Arizona yeah. so that people don't die. Right. Or people like me. Yeah. <laughs> It's insane. Yeah. yeah, that's nuts. So, yeah. but other than that, any other injuries? Or? Um, I, I did hurt myself. Um, in the show, we, we do uh, work on trampolines, and uh, we do a Lady Gaga number, and I am wearing 10-inch heels in the Lady Gaga number. So I, I hurt myself. Um, I, I ripped some tissue in, in my uh, my right leg right here, and um, it was interesting telling the doctors the, the story because they're like, "So what have you been doing?" And I said, "Oh, you know, jumping on trampolines and dancing in ten-inch heels." <laughs> like, and they'd be like, uh, and "I'd be like, no, really, that's, that's what I'm doing." <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, there's definitely something wrong with you. Yeah. yeah. Now uh, the, the show Glee, for people that don't know, is about high school students mm -hmm. that sing in a, a Glee club. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and. I just read that you were in, in your high school, you worked at your own cafeteria. Yes, in, in the morning, every day um, before school, my dad had to be up really early and be at his, at his job really early. So he'd drop me off really early at school. And um, so I'd just be kind of hanging out. Um, and uh, one day, the cafeteria supervisor uh, was walking around and she saw me just standing there. And she said, You know, why don't you make yourself useful? Um, come scoop cookies in the, in the cafeteria and you can get paid for it. So I'd work in my cafeteria every morning before school. No way. Yeah, so you, yeah. were, you were friends with all the lunch ladies? Yes, yes. Actually, the lunch ladies were pretty much my only friends in high school. What? Yeah. <laughs> and really? They, yeah. Well, no, I, they were the best friends you could have because they, <laughs> they know the dirt on everything. They really do. Yeah. And, yeah, and I'm so close to them today. Are you really? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's so cool. You keep in touch with them? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they actually came to see me uh, in New York, Radio City Music Hall. No way. Yeah, yeah. Did you ask them what the specials were and stuff? No, like, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, no, did not. Uh, now, you went straight from high school to Glee. Like, yes, you really, yeah. like, didn't have much time to do... I mean, mm. how'd, that, how'd that go? How'd the audition go? It went pretty well. Pretty well, judging on the fact that I uh, auditioned for the role of Artie, and uh, they liked me, so they wrote a new Artie, role for me. Artie, the guy in the, yes. the, in the wheelchair? Yeah, the wheelchair, yes. Is he yeah. really in a wheelchair? No, no, he's not. He can, he's actually the best dancer on our show. <laughs> <Is> <laughs> Oddly right? enough, yeah. Hey, buddy, I plays it so well. Yeah, yeah. Well, you auditioned for that and didn't get it? No, I didn't get it, but, but they liked me, so they wrote the role of Kurt for me to do. Oh, really? And I, no, the name Kurt... Is, is from, um, in the audition, uh, Ryan Murphy looked at me and he said, why do I have a feeling you've been in The Sound of Music? And I said, well, I was Kurt in The Sound of Music a long time ago. And uh, so the next thing I know, the role is called Kurt, because I was in The Sound of Music, and uh, Kurt Hummel, because uh, I reminded them of those Hummel figurines with the rosy cheeks. So that's why it's called Kurt Hummel. That's a cool story. Yeah, yeah they get that. Uh, now, you, you work crazy hours. Yes, yes. Like and it goes... 16 hours, like Monday through Friday. 16-hour yeah. days. Yeah, yeah. It takes Gosh. a lot to do our show. That yeah. must, you must get spaced out. Well, I mean, there's, there's some spaceage, yeah. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> there's some spaces, yeah. And you, you have bathroom breaks, or...? Yes, um, yes. Um, funny you should mention uh, bathroom breaks, because um, one night... This I is a great story. I can't believe... <laughs> I wanted I, to tell the story. It's I really can't good. believe I'm telling the story on I television. You to, though, um, so one night, we were working really late, and um, I had, like, 27 Diet Cokes. 
And um, I had to use the restroom really, really bad. And our, our trailers were like on the opposite side of the lot, so I didn't have time because we're in the middle of a scene to, to run out to my trailer and use the restroom. So the stage manager kind of like said, okay, there's a bathroom, you know, this building right next to our, our sound stage. Just, you know, this is how you get to it. So I said, okay. So I kind of I found the, the path that he mentioned, but, you know, it was, it was a little odd. And, and I, I, I got to the restroom, it was fine. But then I noticed that the toilet wouldn't flush. And I thought, oh, that's weird. But it must be one of those, you know, eco-friendly, save the world as you're peeing toilets, you know. <laughs> um, and then I went to the sink, and the sink wasn't working either. And then I looked up, and there was no ceiling. And I realized, oh my God, I'm on a sound stage. <laughs> You're on a set of a TV show. Yes, yes. I was, I was on a set of another TV show. <laughs> you, it was the set of Monk, right? The set of Monk, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is the great. So what happened? Well, I, I, I got back, and they're like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine, fine, I'm fine. Nothing, nothing happened, nothing happened. But, I mean, I really, I didn't want to tell anyone because I'm already kind of on bad terms with Paramount Security because I'm, I'm always, like, riding my scooter around the lot and climbing up the fake New York buildings and hanging out on the roof. And, and so this was just kind of you? The <laughs> Where do I begin? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, well, the season finale is tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow night. Can you give any spoilers, any little fun things about, I mean, who, do you win? The regionals no, or what? You have happened? to tune in to find out if, if the New Directions or uh, Vocal Adrenaline uh, wins regionals. New but, um, Direction is your name. New Directions is our um, is our, our Glee Club name. It's yes. perfect, by yes. the way. <laughs> who that? Who wrote that? I think uh, our writer Ian Brennan did. And God, if you, so if you listen closely, it sounds like something else. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. It does. Did you ever? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I was supposed to say that. That's oh. what like New Directions. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just said new direction. I did not know. I, <laughs> I'm so fired. <laughs> did not know that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I learned a lot. Yeah. <laughs> learned a lot today. Sorry, sorry about yeah, that. Uh, but you sorry, can't, Fox. So you can't. So, but, but what happens is you go into the you go into the regionals. Mm -hmm, yes. And I, I, I know this. You pick a song that you normally wouldn't pick. Yes, we do. We do. Yes. More journey. As it happens to be, <gasps> yes. It's a, wait, that's a spoiler. Oh, it, it is. Oh, damn. Um, spoiler okay. alert. I, oh, like I said, this is why I'm not invited to places. No, I just, I just, <laughs> no that's great. I, I love you. I break things. Thank I give things away. No, um, this is great. Oh, yeah. Again, we'll yeah. send you the bill. Oh, thank you. Thank no you. problem. <laughs> Chris Culver yeah. right there, everybody. Glee, <laughs> to the bill tomorrow at 9 p.m. on Fox. We'll be right back with Ian Poulter. There is in the Bud Light Lounge.